This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. We welcome you to the TVnews.tv for Wednesday, August 11th, and we begin with an update on our now daily Countdown to Doom, which chronicles the looming mother of all retransmission and carriage wars between Disney and Time Warner Cable. 21 days and counting until the deadline to get a deal done. And still, no announcements of any progress, but check in with the TV News each and every day for developments. Skype, the TV industry's de facto solution for video interviews, if there's no broadcast facility in proximity to the subject, has filed for an IPO. The goal? Raise $100 million to create the world's foremost online telco company. Now recently, Skype has turned a $269 million shortfall net loss into a $13 million net gain. And remember that hacker who back in May of 2008 really cocked up, that's a technical term, Comcast's main web portal site? Well, justice has now been served as the convicted perp, James Robert Black, has just been slammed with four months in the slammer, plus four months electronic monitoring, plus 150 hours of community service, plus three years of supervised release, plus he must make restitution to Comcast in the amount of $128,557. Memo to prospective hackers, ouch, that one's going to leave a mark. And now we send you to Susan Hibben, who takes the programming pulse. The Programming Pulse is brought to you by Way Out There. Now's your chance to get the Tonight Show of the Paranormal. That's Way Out There. You're hearing the Jaws theme because ABC has announced the renewal of Shark Tank for a second season. And the ball has also announced that comedian Jeff Foxworthy will be joining the judges panel of this business reality program. Look for the next season of Shark Tank to begin sometime in 2011. Okay, now you're hearing the theme to Green Acres because Planet Green's breakthrough docu-series, The Fabulous Beekman Boys, has received the green light for a second season. Look for America's favorite gentleman farmers to grow some new episodes on Planet Green in the first half of 2011. New Media Metrics is all about identifying viewers' emotional attachment to TV shows. So which fall broadcast offerings have the highest emotional attachment with viewers well before the launch? Well, according to New Media Metrics, CBS's Hawaii Five O Two Dot O and you know what my dad says, lead the pack of frost shows. And finally, according to Newton, for every action there is an opposite reaction. Action. Discovery ID is planning a pair of prison talent shows. Reaction. Thank God for Ovation TV, which will be adding some much needed class to the cable TV spectrum later this August with their new show, Scenic Route, which takes viewers off the main roads to visit cultural treasures that are off of the beaten path. Thank you, Ovation TV. I'm Susan Hibben, and I'll see you next week on the Programming Pulse. And now this from GoodTV.com, all 60s TV, all the time. Now's your chance to go back to the sensational 60s when we were young and television was good. Introducing GoodTV.com. In one click, you can watch your favorite shows from your favorite year of the 60s, from your favorite night of the week, from your favorite network. And heck yeah, three networks were enough because back then, television was good. Hey, you need a break from the TV of today, so come on back to the 60s and enjoy GoodTV.com when television was good. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Now in just a bit over two months, the CTAM Summit happens in New Orleans. For more information, log on to CTAM.com slash events. If your group wants to get the attention of middle management to C-suite execs in the TV industry, make your move right now to become a sponsor 
of the TV news. All you have to do is hit us with an email at advertise at the TV news TV and we'll take it from there. And that about does it for this edition of the TV news. We'll be back tomorrow with a fresh edition, which includes our weekly sales, marketing, and trends report. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.